DLSS 3 frame generation working on 20 series and 30 series graphics cards on Portal Prelude RTX. These are NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, just if anyone is wondering. Uh, this post was posted about six hours ago. Um, uh, this post isn't long, uh, isn't a long read. It's a quite short read. Um, it's a tutorial on how to get frame generation working on your 20 series and RTX, um, 20 series and 30 series RTX. Sorry about that. RTX graphics cards. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, well, it says six steps here. There's actually seven steps. Um, if you go down in the comments, you'll read that some people are unable to get these, uh, uh, like, uh, get frame generation working in the game with their 20 series and 30 series graphics cards. Um, I was able to figure out the, uh, the game actually tells you, um, what step you're missing. Um, it is kind of hard to see again, these, uh, this developer menu here, um, there's no way to change the UI scaling on it to make you know any of the text bigger or anything like that. But I was able to figure it out. It's a very simple step. So first, what you're going to do is follow these uh, the the first five steps because the last step is just says enjoy your your enhanced gaming experience. So first, going to be install Port Portal Prelude on your system. You're going to go on Steam, get it, install it. Then you're going to go ahead and download um, NVIDIA DLSS Frame Generation DLL from Tech Power. And the version you need is version 1.01. We come down here. I've already downloaded it myself. Uh, you, can, you can see it right here on the website, NVIDIA DLSS 3 Frame Generation DLL. You can scroll all the way down right here on the left-hand side. And the first, the, the last one on the list is going to say DLSS 3 Frame Generation DLL 1.0.1. This is the one you're going to want to download. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, you're going to go ahead and uh, replace it in, the, in your folder. Um, doing that is pretty easy. It's not hard. Uh, if you don't know how to do, uh, do it, I'll just walk you guys through it right here. You're going to come to your library. In your library, you can see Portal right here, Portal Prelude. You're going to say Manage. So you're going to say bro Browse Local Files. Uh, if you can't find it right here in the search bar up here to the right, uh, you're going to type in because the actual file is going to be called um, the folder that it comes in, I believe it's going to be NVNGX. And uh, you can see I've looked it up here already. It's going to say, go ahead and search. It's going to search it. And you're going to see two files. Uh, the difference between both of these files is that one is just going to say NVNGX underscore DLSS. The second one, after the DLSS, is going to have a G. That G is going to be for generation, the friend generation. So the one you're going to want to replace is the one that says NVNGX underscore DLSS G. So what I did um, is I created a new folder on my desktop. Um, backed up the file that it came with. Uh, so uh, to do that, you just do a simple right click and you're gonna say cut. Now, don't cut it from here. What you're gonna wanna do is right click. Actually, you see something. It's gonna be, cause here is, oh, right up here. Sorry about that. So you're gonna just select the item and you say open file location. There's gonna be the file. Then you can say right click, cut, put it into your folder to just to back it up. And then the one you downloaded, you're gonna, you're going to uncompress that file and bring it into here. And then you're going to be done. Then you're just going to go back and uh, start up your game. It's going to be that. Simple. Well, actually, one more step. Some of you might have um, accelerated hardware, hardware scheduling enabled on your PC already. But those of you that don't, it's pretty simple. You're just going to open up your Windows Start menu. You're going to come here to the cog wheel, which is your settings. Then you're going to go, you're going to, go to System. Then display. If you're not in display, you're just going to hit, uh, let's take this out of the way. You can hit display. Use display. Then you're going to scroll down if you can. If you can't, then it's, it already shows. That's fine. But you're going to come to graphics settings. Should be at the bottom. Okay. So here we are. Graphics settings. Uh, graphics settings. You're going to hit right here on. It might say off for you. It might not say on. This is on, but hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You're going to select on. Once you select on, it's going to ask you to restart your PC. Uh, you're going to restart your PC. Once your PC is restarted, then you can go ahead and um, turn on Portal Prelude. When you turn on Portal Prelude, of course, you're going to pre want to press Alt X to bring up the developer menu, and you'll see that enable DLSS frame generation will be enabled. If it's not, just go ahead and enable it. If you come here to the developer settings menu, if it's not here, come to the developer settings menu, and it'll be right over here. Enable DLSS frame generation. And for those of you that um, did not um, have not disabled, I'm sorry, not disabled, have not enabled the hardware accelerated 
um, scheduling. If you try to enable uh, frame generation right here, it'll tell you, hey, you need to go ahead and enable hardware accelerated scheduling. So there it is. We have uh, frame generation enabled. Now let me bring up the NVIDIA statistics uh, overlay. So as we can see right now, I'm getting about 90, 94, 88, 98, 97 frames per second. Um, I don't know if in the recording, you can see like when I move my camera back and forth, there's this weird stuttering. Um, my screen, I see it. Um, I'm guessing those are the uh, generated frames that I'm seeing. It's uh, not quite in sync. Uh, it's not. It's not a bad experience. Um, I personally don't mind it. I could play a game like this. It is pretty smooth. Now, go ahead and show that it is on. Here, I'm going to go ahead and disable frame generation. I'm going to say save settings. All right, save settings turned off. Goes that menu. Now we're going to see in the upper left, it says 44, 45, 46 frames per second. This is with all the bells and whistles turned on, RTX, uh, you know, ray tracing, path tracing, everything turned on. I am playing, I believe it, um, 1440p or it might be uh, 1080p. Let's see here. Close, let's see if I press escape. Options, not audio, video. Okay, so yeah, 2560 by 1440. That's my native resolution. That's the resolution I'm playing at. So, recent game. Do you see without uh, frame generation, I am getting 43 to 42 frames per second. And uh, I mean, it's not bad without it. This isn't really a fast paced game, um, other than going through the, you know, when you have to throw yourself through the portals just to get to a next level or anything like that. But let's go ahead and turn on frame generation again. Enabled it, save settings, close, and there we go. We went from about 45, 46 to 90, 94. So it basically doubled our, uh, doubled my frame rates here. Looking pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's actually pretty awesome to see. But it's working. One other thing I do want to say that you might experience with the uh, generated frames. Um, earlier when I was playing this. I did see one of the generated frames actually got stuck on my screen. It was pretty faint, but I could see it. Um, and the only thing that actually got, went ahead and got rid of it was restarting the game. So if you guys uh, do have that issue where you see like a, uh, um, it's kind of, it, the closest thing I could say that it kind of looks like it's like a, um, a burnt image on an OLED screen where you have that faint image that, that's right there. You can see it all the time. That's kind of what it looked like. I'm guessing that's just a uh, generated frame that got stuck. And the only way to go ahead and reset that is just restarting the game. And uh, once you restart the game, it's over. But anyways, um, if any of you want to go ahead and try frame generation on your 3000 series graphics card or 2000 series graphics card from NVIDIA, um, link to that Reddit post. I'll have it down in the description so you guys can follow it. And remember, don't forget to go ahead and enable hardware accelerated scheduling in the uh, system settings on your Windows PC in order to get this uh, frame, genera frame generation working properly. Uh, and if you like this video, well, you know, please go ahead like and subscribe you know i'll try to come out with more videos i don't have many videos but uh really haven't found anything interesting to make videos on lately but uh you know if more games like this come out i'll definitely make more videos and try to see if i can make videos on other things anyways thank you and have a have a nice day